Now, if you want ultra light, luxury, lightweight 10 sleeping campers, let me tell you, I've got one that's packed full of amenities. It's the original luxury lightweight camper. Welcome to the Keystone Bullet 290 VHS. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the beautiful, luxurious Keystone Bullet Ultralight 290 BHS. The Bullets were Keystone's original luxury lightweight camper. Now, if you know the Keystone name, or if this is your first time to it, they are synonymous with luxury manufacturing and quality. Their construction process, the way they even color code the wiring and the tubing, just stands out in the industry as being a thing that you want if you want to go RV in the right way. Let's just put it that way. Look, it's just good, okay? It's good, it's quality construction. They even have this hyperdeck flooring, bow floor, laminated, they are all types of stuff, and woven material inside the slide, so it's carpetless, easy to clean, looks better, it's gonna have more longevity, and we'll get to some of those other features, uh, but right now I wanna tell you a little bit about this one, 33 feet, nine inches long, 6,035 pounds dry, can sleep 10 people. That's pushing it, in my opinion, I gotta tell you. But if you're gonna go camping, you need space, you need that style and luxury. You want things like barreled ceilings to give you more height, over 80 inches of clearance inside. You want wood strip over the seams here in the laminated roofing. You want plush teddy bear style, three inches thick mattresses on your double over double bunks, as well as quality everything from the curtains to the floor to the roof, then the Keystone Bullet Ultralight is gonna be your RV. Right here on the off camp side in the rear, you'll see we got cubby storage back there with dual USB charging ports if you need to do some storage, solid mounted ladder, which Bob was just standing on. And I like how this one's a little bit thicker than some of the other ones. It's still kind of narrow, so it's gonna be, you know, it's definitely designed for kids. Adults, you might have to clamber up, but, solid ladder and you'll notice the bottom bunk this is a double over double uh 300 pound capacity on both but why is that mattress fish tailing back there in the back well this one has a pretty cool little feature let's say you want to use it for storage check it out you can push this all the way up it's a solid panel that latches there and you can get to the cubbies if you need to as well once again with the dual usb charging but if you want to store bags bikes rifle cases whatever you could push this all the way up and do your storage right there if not you got a nice little storage compartment under there just to roll everything in. Beautiful light decor too. This is the flagstone decor. I'm gonna to get to that when we walk through the living area in the kitchen. But let's take a look at the bathroom. The thing I like about bunkhouse RVs, functional and convenient. Now, you get a lot of space, you get a lot of sleep, you get a lot of storage, um, but you also get double access with a lot of ones that are you know close to that 30 foot line because when you're out and active and you come back and you're dirty, you don't want to track that stuff through your RV. This one, usually you're going to find on the campsite, the access is in the bathroom. You'll have one in the living area beside the kitchen. You'll have one in the bathroom. Nice spot to bring everybody in, get everybody cleaned up in the tub surround that we have right here with the little shower applique there as well. I got my skylight that has my powered vent fan here as well to help get that steam, that heat out of here. And I got a little mid-calf high rise on my tub. So if you got the kids or the dogs, good spot to get them clean and you won't have to worry about all that splashing going over the top of the tub. Corner notches for my soaps, my shampoos, my conditioners, my exfoliants, uh, my uh, abrasive peach scrubs that I use on my face every night. All right, beautiful construction in here as well. Solid wood, brush nickel fixtures, upgraded and glazed. You're gonna notice with Keystone, everything they do, they don't skip. We even have hideaway hinges in here. Bob, I don't know if you can see that. I mean, we'll, we'll show you that in the kitchen too as well. But plenty of space here in the corner mounted medicine cabinet. Plastic bowl with the foot flush. Got me a little storage compartment under my vanity sink. And there's what I was talking about with the color coding. They do it with the tubes, they also do it with the wiring. Just makes everything kind of easy to find. If you need to fix it, makes it easy to fix as well. Uh, and they have this thing called Key TV, which is a multi-source connection where they bring all of their connections into one, so you don't have to chase cables. You got one spot for your cable, one spot for your satellite. Hook right there for my jacket. Got a 15K GE 
air conditioner here that is ducted. It also has the quick cool. You got a 30,000 BTU furnace, which is ducted here as well with the floor ducting. And everything the Keystone does with their floor, floor ducting has the tough lock joints in it, which make the joints almost indestructible. It's a nice plastic shell that connects everything so you don't get those soft spots in the floor. Flagstone decor, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, you'll see they even take the time to put frosty glass inlay in the cabinetry and make it backlit. So that, sure, it's for the storage. You can see what you need to get to. But more importantly than that, if you just need some ambiance, you got it right there. I got my TV on the swivel arm, and Bobby, you're gonna have to get on this side to check this out. I'm big on hiding the good bourbon and the good Girl Scout cookies. Look at the storage space that we have right here that's hideaway, it's also where my connections are, and you'll see that key TV connection over there on the left-hand side too. Uh, don't have a light in here, so if I were you, I would probably get like one of those push button lights and, and put one of those there, maybe those Velcro ones, but nice, you know, 36 inch TV on the swivel there. My Furion AM FM command center right here with CD, DVD player, USB, HDMI. It's also Bluetooth. Uh, so if you wanna radio in with your cell phone, you can. Beautiful cabinetry, beautiful wood on the construction. You're gonna hear me say beauty a lot with the Keystone Bullets. Uh, the designer, I even told him, I said, man, well, why don't you start, instead of calling them the bullet, the bullet ultralight, just call it the beauty light. And I think that was already a trademark thing that you can buy and put on your bathroom cabinet to do your makeup. I don't know. I didn't make it. Solid wood balances all the way around. Large windows giving you great light, cross breeze, dual USB charging ports on both sides of the slide. And right here, I got my Thomas Paine couch, which is also a sleeper sofa. Got me some little storage on both sides behind my cup holder. That's a good spot for the magazines, the Girl Scout cookies, the bourbon, plush and comfortable. And this is your reconnection spot. Great visibility of the entertainment center, of the kitchen, but this is also a sleeper. It looks like it's a love seat or a love seat recliner, but it's actually a pull out sofa. Let me show you, or pull out sleeper. Take the cushions off, they are Velcroed on. This is what I like about these. The ingenuity that they have done with the manufacturing these days, I tell you, man, they think of some cool things. Bring that in, flip that down, put my cushions back if I want to, or just use my pillows if I want to. And now we have a bed big enough to sleep two people comfortably. I mean, this, this is probably how I'd actually sleep in the camper. So yeah, you could get two people here. If you got kids, you could stack them up, but just think about when you're out camping, you come inside from a long day fishing, hunting, at the beach, at the lake, the kids want to lay down and watch TV while maybe you and your loved one sit over here in the booth dinette and play cards, enjoy a meal. This is the legless dinette. And I like that because you'll notice you're not running into any poles right here. This reduces down, can easily sleep two people, plush and comfortable. I got storage on both sides. Plus I mentioned before, we got the woven carpetless slide. This is, this is when you realize you're out vacating. This is my vacation home. I don't have to buy anything at the beach or at the lake. I got an RV that I can take to both. If I want to go to the mountains, if I want to go to Arizona, if I want to go to Buffalo, if I want to go to Florida, if I want to go to the key, if I to wherever you want to go, that's the best thing about having an RV. And with this one being 33 feet, nine inches long, should still be good for most state parks. 6,035 pounds, lightweight and luxurious, over 80 inches of height. And when it's time to make the breakfast, Look at my beautiful pressed solid surface countertop that I have right here. Once again, incorporating those light and dark features. Stainless steel undermounted farmhouse style sink with the high rise nozzle here. I would like to see a sprayer. That'd be nice. Cause I mean, this is a luxury RV. Backsplash, flush mounted three burner cooktop, high output on the front, push button light. Got the Furion 16 inch oven right there. Flush mounted microwave, 10 cubic foot GE fridge freezer combo, frost resistant. Uh, you're not gonna get the frosting you know, inside or on the face here, but I love how for 2021, Keystone upgraded the appliances to GE. General Electric makes good stuff. Solid wood cabinetry all the way around on ball bearing drives. 
plenty of storage space. Pop-up power station right there if I need it. Got my speakers mounted in the roof. Got a skylight right there with the vent and my adjustable ward slash pantry space. I like how they added this feature in because you got the notches right there. If you need to take it out and just use it as ward, or if you say, no, Chris, uh, my family will eat us out of house and home. We need space to put all the boxes of cereal, the cans of soups, the ramen noodles, the nor. So now I'm getting hungry. My, my cans of spam, my potted meat, my crackers, and my bottles of Tahitian treat. When I go camping, mm, that's what I take. And I love it. My wife is like, why do you never eat that at home? We're camping. More storage right there. Got my hooks to hang everything. My Keystone Command Center, if you will. Run out my slide, run out my awning, check all my tanks, my batteries, and my GE Command here for my climate controls. Now, when I mentioned luxury, that to me, sure, when we're out, we're reconnecting with the family, they need to be comfortable. They need to have something upgraded. And that's what this is. This is an upgraded camping experience. If you've had an RV before and you want to upgrade, this is where you go. You start coming to the Keystone Bullet Ultralights. This 290 BHS, plenty of space, plenty of amenities, plenty of features. But when it comes time for the getaway, the master bedroom, you got double wood pocket doors. Almost like if you want to make your grand entrance to the kids because they act in a fool. Heish! And then go back to bed. I love this because not only do you have more space, look at how it opens up the living area between the kitchen and the master bedroom. It's not just one door that swings out or two doors on the side. It's right here in the middle. Pocket doors give you large entry to your large bed with storage underneath, right there. Plenty of room and ward storage with drawers, wards, and cubbies in the back with dual USB charging ports. Great spot for your CPAP machine, light if you need it, and even a laundry chute. So when you get done from the beach, the mountains, and you want to throw your dirty stuff, you don't want to put it in here because it's a nice RV. Got your spot. Look at the ward space that we have in there. Tall wards with the drawers as well on both sides and frosted glass inlays right here. I mean, it's just large windows, wood balances. Look, there's features and amenities galore inside these Keystone bullets, but this is your upgraded camping experience. This is your what they like to call premier lightweight RV. So if you've been looking for something that has all the style and features, upgraded and beautiful decors like we have here on this flagstone decor of the Keystone Bullet Ultralight, you need it to be 33 feet, nine inches long, roughly 6,035 pounds dry. Sleep 10 people, this is the one for you. Space, style, and comfort. We've seen the inside. Let's go take a peek at the outside. So here we are on the outside, the 2021 Keystone Bullet Ultralight 290 BHS. Let's start right up front. Power tongue jack with LED light as well to give you a little additional safety and security. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, battery stack as well as external disconnect for your battery right above that powder coated frame that's single welded all the way underneath. I got my 10 amp quick connect for my solar panel right there if I want to trickle charge my battery. Got the little rock guards. And right here on the front, this profile, molded, painted fiberglass with that seamless Superflex roof going all the way over the top. My LED running lights. I come over to the campsite. I got my magnetic anti-slam storage right here with the covered hinges. Look at the opening that we have here. Now, most of these bullet ultralights, you're going to get about 50 to 52 feet, 52 cubic feet of storage on each one pass through. I got my notched wall over here. So if I need to put hangers for my rods or my tools, I got the option to do that. You'll see this is that single weld aluminum frame under here. That's what you're going to get with the fiberglass RVs. You know, this is a beautiful fiberglass. It also has a backing in there that's a laminated graphite that doesn't have moisture, doesn't have, you know, the off gassing. Underneath here, I also have my Furion lit charger. Now there's dual USB uh, on those as well. So uh, if you need to charge your cell phone, you can. But the Lit is a mobile speaker that you can take with you that comes with the RV. It's great for your outside entertainment. You want to throw it in your backpack, you can. 
Got my power jacks down there, heated and enclosed underbelly on this one as well. Solid step over steps with the extra large top step giving me some additional security, but it's also pet friendly. Got the extra large grab handle right here going into my 26 inch friction hinge door. Large awning that goes almost the entire length of the campsite right here. With the LED light strip, I got my external speakers, those Furians that are loud, they do the booming, bam, 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 bam. I had mentioned on the inside how we had that 30K BTU furnace on this one. That's part of their thermal package. And with the Keystone Bullets, you can get different packages, different upgrades. Like some of them will have a 13 and a half BTU AC versus a 15,000 BTU AC. Just talk to your specialist at Camping World and Gander. Kind of tell them where you're going to go camping, how are you going to use it, and that'll help guide you down the path. TV mounting bracket right here, key TV connection and power right there. So if I wanna set up some outside entertainment, I can. And I had mentioned how the key TV, everything's in one spot. I don't have two ports. I got one spot, I'm not chasing cables, whether I'm doing satellite or cable. I love how they just make life a little bit more convenient. Got those Dexter Easy Lube axles right there. Those 15 inch aluminum rims looking beautiful. Rust resistant on those rims as well. And if you gotta have some fun with the family, you gotta have the outside kitchen, man. I mean, come on. I got my little hot point mini fridge right here. Oh, it's taped up so I can't open it. Love this because when I'm having my outdoor bourbon, I keep it in my outdoor fridge so I can do my three finger pour. Got the little Suburban cooktop right here, which is a two burner, connect that up. You can also bring your grill, but these are great because you get to just reconnect with the family, have some fun outside, and you get the convenience of doing it outside. You're not doing all the prep inside. You can split it, you know, to cook the burgers here, do the fish there, do the veggies here, do the, you know, whatever. And once again, magnetic, anti-slam, latch that up. Spray port right beside my bathroom entrance right here. Beautiful fiberglass on this one too. Sealed safety glass. Uh, on the windows all the way around here. My bunks with their own windows, my Furion backup camera set up right there. If you remember on the inside, we had those beautiful barrel ceilings. Look at the arch of that roof, not only giving us the barrel ceiling, but also doing a really good job of keeping the rain and the snow off the top of this RV, because that's where your problems start. Those three inch nozzles gonna make sure that the rain, the snow kind of stays away from you. Four by four Suho storage there, spare tire mounted on the back, solid ladder mounted on the back too. Very nice touch when you need to get up there and do some RMP, you absolutely can. Grab and go spot. This is where my wife would make me keep my boots and my bags because she hates when I bring them inside the RV. They're always dirty, you're always tracking that stuff in. Why do you have to go do that? You know, why, why can't you spray it off before you get in? Because we're camping, just like what the pot at me. But this is the spot that's finished off that you could put, you know, I mean, pretty much whatever you want to put in there, toolboxes, fishing rods, Ice fishing spot, it's a good spot for it. Got my 30 amp plug right there. True fit slides here. The way Keystone makes their slides is they make them true to fit the area that they go in, which not only helps with the insulation uh, and the security, but more than that, you'll notice it reduces the use of components pulling the slide in and out. You reduce the use of the components, you reduce the stuff that's gonna break on you. I got my gray tank and my black tank down there under, underneath as well, AKA my terminations. And you got your fresh tank down there too. Bobby, I don't know if you can see that. That's your little fresh water dump, if you want to call it that. Other side of my pass-through storage, but also my external command center. I like this because my connections are inside the RV. I got the porthole here so I can keep my connections secure. City water, fresh water, black tank flush, winterization, cut that on, water heater bypass if I need it. You do have a six gallon bypass on this one. So if you want to get uh, you know, some hot water before you shower, you got it. External shower right there as well. And my stabilizer leveling jacks, excuse me. Got my power for them right there. My key TV main connection, my satellite roof prep ready to go. So for 2021, they did the off the grid system, which means it's already set up for solar. So you don't have to worry about buying that and getting it put in. You wanna get the panels, bam, go put them on. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be your info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this bad boy weigh? For example, unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 6280. Gross vehicle weight, 7,600 pounds. 
Now I've been saying 6,035. So this is, you know, taking into account, you know, a little bit more of the features and amenities. The, like for some of them, you'll get the theater seats. For some of them, you'll get, uh, you know, the booth dinette. For some of them, you can get the jackknife sofa versus the folding. There are so many different ways you can get your RV. Once again, talk to your specialist and ask them, hey, can my vehicle tow this? Is this right for me? That's really gonna help determine that and where you're gonna take a camp and how many people you need to sleep. That's really gonna determine the one that fits your lifestyle. As far as budget and lifestyle, we got something for everybody. But if you've been looking for that upgraded, luxurious, lightweight, ultralight RV, gotta tell you this Keystone Bullet Ultralight 290BHS is good for you. Sits at 33 feet, nine inches long, roughly 6280 or 6035, depending on what you get in it, dry, but can sleep 10 people, beauty and style like that. This is one you need to put at the top of your list if you're looking for that upgraded camping experience. But leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. Plus, if you can, click that like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we get a video come out, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending a beautiful day with me today. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of this Keystone Bullet 290BHS. I look forward to catching up with you again soon, but please, until then, Come check out an RV, because they're fun. I'll see you.